just moving some yearling heifers still. Down the hill and up the hill and down the hill and up the hill. Shoo! Come on, shoo! 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 And they forgot to come up the hill. Hey, oh, 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 oh. oh they see water. Go on, shoo! You're thirsty, but go on, keep going, and we'll get there and you can drink. Uh oh, that one's dumb. Hey, hey, hey! Hey! Uh oh, where's the wire? Uh, no wire. Good thing he turned back. Okay. That's a nice little runoff from the pivot up on the hill. That's terrific. Okay. Here we go. We're gonna cross it. Yeah, come on, pony. He doesn't want to. Okay, up the hill. Ooh, ooh. I know that was some, that was a big little hill. Poor buddy. Good boy, Solano. Good boy. Ooh. Yeah, as soon as they get to their pasture, they can have all the water they want, but you can't not stop to water them up on the way or then they'll turn into wild beasts and be crazy. It's better to have them trail when they're a little bit thirsty. Besides, they were just on water, seriously, down in their pasture. It's not like they're going for two days without water. And they're eating the salty rabbit brush, antelope bitter brush, whatever that is. Um, it's not sagebrush, because that's a sagebrush. Anyway, whatever they were eating, that means that they're a little bit salt hungry, so they must have ran out of salt back at their, back at their pasture. Here we go, just tromping through some sagebrush. I'm trying to keep the camera as steady as possible so you can come with me on the ride, but I always have to turn it off when I trot, because it gets to be a little too wild. Come on, calves, shoo! Anyway, so I was saying that um, it's better to give them a little bit thirsty because they travel better than if they're tanked up on water. If they're tanked up on water, then they either just want to sit around and eat or not walk. Ooh, what is that bug? <gasps> Ew, some giant bug just landed on my arm. Oh, it was like a mosquito, but like five times bigger. Okay, ten times bigger, it was huge. You okay, Rye? Oh, that was a yes. That was a happy nod that she's on a horse, enjoying the beautiful day. So here's moving cattle for you. Okay, we'll turn it off and uh, show you the next moving the cattle on the next video. Oh, see, there's the bull. See that red one right there? He's the red Angus bull along with all these heifers. That means he gets to be their boyfriend. <laughs> that means that these are year old um, heifer. That means girl calves. They're, they're like actually like teenagers. So they, a year from now, they will have their first babies. And a year from now, they won't act this dumb when it's time to trail down the road. They will just go. It'll be like a miracle. But all summer long, we spend moving them from pasture to pasture around the place here in the valley um, and keep them on the good nice pasture around here so they stay fat and happy and they grow really good and uh, anyway and then next year they'll take their calves and go out on the range the same range that they were on when they were calves for now it is what it is and uh oh I'm gonna have to trot after that one because it's being dumb okay love you bye bye